In IT, Oracle was my first love. And you never forget your first love. I can assure you that. I started my career with Oracle databases. I worked in Oracle databases for more than 16 years purely. And to this date, when I have been primarily doing cloud and AI, I still dabble a lot in Oracle databases. I simply cannot do without it. That is why today when I learned that Oracle has just released their new database version, which is 23 AI, I couldn't resist but to make this video. It is almost 10 p.m. here in Sydney on Friday night and I am dead tired physically but mentally as soon as I have learned about this 23 AI, I have just gone into the documentation and pulled out some of the highlights of this amazing release from Oracle. The diagrams which I am going to use for this video have been taken from Oracle's own blog post by distinguished product manager Dominic Giles. So huge credit to him for uh, releasing these diagrams and the intro. Plus I will be posting the link to his blog post in video's description. Okay, so now let's get started. So Oracle has just released a general availability of Oracle database 23 AI. If you are aware of Oracle's history, Oracle has been um, putting the current trends and their first alphabet just as a, a suffix to the their database version. For example, in the early 2000s when internet became the rage or all this www, Oracle came up with Oracle 8i. I think it was in early 2000s. So I stood for internet. Then there came 9i and then all of a sudden grid computing was the rage towards the uh, later half of uh, 2000s and then Oracle came up with Oracle 10g, then 11g and then of course cloud became um, the, the trend all the fad around you know mid, early to mid uh, 2010s and that is where Oracle came up with Oracle 12c and then the they went on and on and on and now as AI is all the work at the moment so Oracle has come up with 23 AI and there is no surprise there so they have released that and as per Oracle they have been working hard on this um, database from the lens of AI for the last four years um, okay so Oracle database development has really Supreme. I know them personally and I know that they are very, very hardworking, very talented people. So they must have been working diligently over the years. So this database release is primarily focused on AI and developer productivity. So that is, you know, um, earlier the name was 23C, but now they have changed it to 23AI. So it seems that Oracle is really taking this data. AI think very very seriously which is really good and I have already covered in few of my videos Oracle's AI is offering. Okay so now there are three key areas which Oracle is targeting in this release. First is AI for data then dev for data and mission critical for data. So let's start with AI for data. When Oracle says AI for data they mean that uh, to enable application developers to add a functionality into their data driven applications and also incorporate or embed a capabilities into all of Oracle products and all of the features of Oracle from data analysis to application development to performance optimization so that both developers and DBS can be more productive and in the future videos I will also be covering hands on uh, feature by feature to see what where exactly this AI has um, been embedded because one area I can tell you off the bat uh, is SQL optimization. If you have worked in SQL optimization in Oracle, no matter how much expert you are, it is still a black box. You tinker with optimization parameters, you just tinker with a lot of execution plans, hints and all that crap. If AI can take care of that and I'm more than sure AI can, then I think this will make DBS job and developer job a lot more easier. Anyway, so these are the two things where AI is targeting it. If you look at the AI 
scenario at the moment, people are really feeling the impact of AI LLMs exemplified by offering as Gemini, ChatGPT, Meta's Llamas, Cohere, and the list goes on and on. While all of these LLMs are having a real good impact on the way we perform our everyday task, one of the challenges that these engines face is that they are restricted to answering questions in the specific time window of their creation. So uh, what it means is that, for example, GPT 3.5, its cutoff window was April last year, so it doesn't know what happened afterwards. So they really lack the context and the details of the data held within your organization or your personal data. We know that we have techniques like fine tuning, we have RAG, we have function calling, we have two views, but uh, all of these require augmenting our uh, LLM's existing understanding with data relevant to the question we ask. In Oracle Database 23i, they are introducing this AI vector search, which is a powerful new technology that enables you to exploit a new generation of AI models to generate and store vectors. These vectors, sometimes referred to as embeddings or numerical representations, are multi-dimensional representations of documents, images, videos, and sound, etc. So, Oracle Database is becoming a vector store too, and it is multimodal. And by encoding all of these objects, such as vectors, you really gain the ability to look for similarities between them using mathematical calculations. The real power of Oracle Database 23 AI solution is that you can combine these similarity searches with searches on your business data using simple SQL. How good is that? Anyone with a basic understanding of SQL can create a powerful statement combining similarity and other search criteria. And look, if you even if you don't know SQL, just give it to any LLM in a natural language and it will create a SQL for you. These types of queries provide LLMs with additional context augment their knowledge and making their responses more accurate and relevant to your customers or organization's question. To enable this functionality, Oracle has added a new data type, new vector indexes and extension for SQL language to make it incredibly simple to query vectors alongside your existing business data by leveraging Oracle Database 23 AI's advanced analytical capabilities. I think this is going to be huge. So, to enable the considerable benefit that LLM offer, we also need to enrich our understanding of our data sets, to be honest, and the objects within them. The models to encode these objects are potentially large and complex pieces of code. As a result, it has become common practice to offload this processing to third-party services. This can require you to share potentially sensitive information with third parties with the inherent risk that entails. To ensure the secure coding of object, Oracle Database 23 AI allows you to load your own trusted AI models directly into the database through its support of ONNX standard. This enables Oracle Database 23 AI to encode objects as they are inserted into the database. This enables the secure near real-time inferencing of objects and ensures that data does not need to be extracted from database and handed out to a third-party service. How good is that that your LLM is living inside your database just along with your data? So your data doesn't leave your database, you don't pull it out, you don't convert it into RAG or give it to your LLM. Everything is within there. Now, another AI feature which this uh, awesome uh, release has is that you can ask questions naturally. While SQL is an incredibly powerful language, it can be a little challenging to get started with. And I can tell you, when you write uh, hundreds of lines of SQL, uh, sub-queries -se -sub and all that stuff, it becomes hard. To enable a broader range of users to ask the most complex question of Oracle DB, Oracle has integrated with LLMs such as Cohere and Llama that allow you to ask questions using natural language. So you can simply ask a question like, show me the last quarter sale and Oracle Database 23 AI will share the table's metadata to answer the question with LLM along with your question. The LLM understands the meaning of uh, all of these quarters and sales and it will convert it into a data range that is that will act as a filter in the SQL query and then it will it will be returned to the database and database will do the rest. How good is that? 
also um oracle 20 by the way oracle databases already have some sort of machine learning algorithms built in which was uh, enabling his cost-based optimizer to quickly look for patterns and trends in data but now uh, this 23 ai it has taken it to new level now the models uh, uh, can be used to classify cluster and predict as your data is inserted or loaded into the oracle database providing tangible business benefits like customer recommendations and broad detection so they have new and improved ml algorithm also another good thing is that ai vector search is part of oracle database 23 ai and is available at no additional charge in enterprise edition standard edition to database free tier and all oracle database cloud services amazing amazing stuff so we also have dev for data which deals with json or relational difficult choice and then as i mentioned earlier there are a lot of other things which are happening here and um, i will be doing more and more videos on it so stay tuned uh, but in this video i just wanted to walk you through about the ai features of this amazing 23 ai which i really like uh, i will also drop the link to dominic's uh, blog post there and visit oracle.com and see what you can uh, glean from there so that's it is that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions about oracle database feel free to ask if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching